Hello, I'm Denshi, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use FFmpeg with some basic examples. So, I'll just get rid of a bunch of files here real quick, and just pretend I only have one file here, outro.mp4. Now, if I double click on this and I play it back, you'll notice it's just the outro from all my videos. And yeah, that's what I use as my outro. Let's say I want to convert it to an MKV, for example. Well, I have a program named FFmpeg, and if you're running GNU Linux and you have a desktop environment installed, this is already on your system, including all the codecs that you're going to need to do all the conversions. Um, so let's say I want to convert this file. So I'm going to do FFmpeg-i outro, so dash, dash i means input, and if I don't give it any, any other parameters and just press enter, it will give me information on the file. So as you can see here, it tells me that um, stream 00, it's using the HEVC encoder, which is a modern functional encoder, U420p like pixel format, it's at 1920 by 1080 in terms of resolution, it's at 60 FPS and all of this stuff. For audio, it's using AAC, it's a 48,000 uh, hertz sample rate, stereo and 128 uh, kilobytes per second as the bit rate. Um, so yeah, all of that stuff. Now let's say I want to convert it to an MKV. Without any parameters, FFmpeg defaults to a bunch of stuff that it has pre-built in it. I can just tell it to convert it to outro.mk. So it might take a little bit of time because this is a 20 second long video, but eventually after I've done running this command, so outro.mp4, outro.mkv, just specifying I want it to go from this is my input to just this output, I get an output, and if I double click and play this, you'll see it's it's pretty much the same thing. Now, what if I want to specify a different encoder? So this used H264 as the encoder because by default, FFmpeg will try to use H264 when converting things to MKV. Let's say I want to use um, H265 or HEVC. I can do dash C V and specify libx265 as my video codec. Same for audio. If I want to use AAC, for example, which is higher quality lossless audio, I can do dash C colon A, AAC. I can give them more options. So for example, I want to scale the video. I can do dash S and like 1280x720. That's 720p. Let's say I want to give it a rate. I'll, I'll, I'll keep this for now. In the meantime, before I talk about more options, I'm going to quickly um, run this and cancel it so I can have it saved. I'm going to talk about how to actually get the encoder list. So you saw me write out libx65. How do I know what all the encoders are? Well, if you want to see all the encoders, you do ffmpeg dash encoders, and that will print them all out. If I want all of those to go to like a file, I'll just do ffmpeg dash encoders and send them over to like, I don't know, uh, encoders.txt. So there you go. And it will create encoders.txt. You can look through these. Uh, and there's all the encoders you can possibly use on a system. Now, not all of these might work with your system. Maybe you don't have the hardware for some of these, some of these, or your processor is too old, or or maybe they're just not supported enough that certain things downloaded or something like that. But most of these should work. And the reason all of these are here is because video comes in many variations. So the one I use was let's see if I can spot it. Here we are. Uh, Lib X two six five. So this is S H two six five, also known as H E V C. Uh, H264, this is the N NVIDIA version, but up here we got H264 VAAPI, so that's the version for um, video accelerated stuff. Um, and then somewhere up there, here we are, you'll find LibX264, so that's uh, H264, so that's the actual, you know, standard codec. Anyway, but this isn't what's important now. Let's go back to where we were uh, before. I think I need to go, uh, wait a second, I need to open up the main toolbar, uh, not main toolbar, sorry. Uh, settings, uh, show tabs, go back to the previous file I was in, this one. Anyway, so back to what I was talking about before. Let's say I want to take, I don't know, uh, let's just delete this file. Let's say I want to take outro.mp4 and convert it, uh, with what I was doing before, uh, this. Um, I want to use AAC as my audio codec, X265 as my video codec, basically the best ones out there, pretty much. And I want the resolution to be 720p. Let's say I want to change the audio rate. So rate colon A, and I give it something like 44,100, a common audio rate. Uh, just give it, give it a couple of spaces so things are a little bit more evenly formatted here. Um, spaces don't matter. Let's say I want to change the video bit rate. Dash B, V, one megabyte. At most, it can reach one megabyte per second. It pro most likely won't, but if I really want to. 
Uh, or let's say I want the audio bitrate to be something I can do dash B A and bitrate audio and set it to 192 kilo kilobytes per second. Well, kilohertz. No, not kilohertz. Kilobytes per second. Uh, now setting video like uh, bit rates is pretty pointless when you're using something like X265 or H264, all that stuff, because there's already an inbuilt utility for it. It's called dash CRF, and it's much better. It's uh, very varying the bit rate uh, based off a number you give it. So the lower the number is, the better the quality will be, but the bigger the file will be. File is. So let's say I want it to be 24. 24 is a good number. Uh, I Most of my videos are, you know, 20. Uh, I set the CRF rate to 24 when I compress them, including this one, it's 24. And, um, you know, it, it, as you can see, it looks pretty good. If you need higher quality, 20, but like it's pretty indistinguishable, like a little bit maybe with more noisy video, but you know, for most video, it's perfectly fine. Anyway, moving on, uh, let's say I want to change the duration as well of this video. I can do dash SS to declare when I want it to start. I want it to start at, well, zero hours, zero minutes, zero seconds, and zero milliseconds. And let's say I want it to end, so dash T, at uh, zero hours, zero minutes, and zero five seconds, and zero milliseconds. I can also, no, that's pretty much it, no. So I'm gonna do output MP4, I'm gonna use X265, I'm gonna set my codec to AAC for audio, I'm going to scale it down to 720p, change the audio bitrate to 44,100, uh, use CRF24, so you know, pretty good quality for H265 and stuff, um, set my bitrate of audio to 192 kilobytes per second, uh, start the video at uh, zero, 00, just the beginning of the video, and end it at 5 seconds. So let's press enter and let it work. Since it only had to do 5 seconds, it was relatively quick. And if we play this back... As you can see, it lasts 5 seconds, it's in 720p, and everything's been applied. So FFmpeg is a really powerful tool when you want to mass convert files because you can just write a script and, and mass convert every single mp4 file to a different format or every single mp4 file, compress it to something else or, or something like that. Uh, let's say I want to take this outro.mp4 file and turn it into audio. Well, that's the same concept. Dash I, outro.mp4, if I want to specify a specific audio codec, I say, I don't know, lib opus or something, but I'm just going to say outro.wav. Let's just turn it into wav. Instantly done, there you go, outro wav, double click that. And as you can see, it plays back because I've converted it to audio. And here, right before I end this video, because I've talked about all the main options, let's do a fun little experiment. Let's transform this outro.wav and this image into a video. So I'm going to take outro.wav and essentially mix it with this image. So I'm going to do ffmpeg dash i outro.wav and then dash i image.png. And I'm going to specify um, a specific codec. So let's say I want uh, lib x265, relatively good, the CRF, I don't know, 20, uh, 20, 20 is pretty good in terms of quality. Images are a little bit messed up when it comes to this kind of stuff. And let's say I want um, something like a uh, audio codec, okay. I might want to specify a bitrate for audio though. So I'm going to do B. A and set it to 192 kilohertz. So let's press enter on this. And oh yeah, I forgot to set an output file. So wait a second. I'm going to specify I want it to be outro image.mp4. Press enter and just let it convert. There you go. It's already done. Double click on this. And as you can see, it's the image with the audio. It's just, you know, the image playing back in it. And it has the audio from uh, outro.wav, uh, which is just, you know, just the raw 20 second audio and it mixes it with this image. So if you ever wanted to just have a still image and you talking, you can make that pretty easily. And the file itself is negligible in terms of size. It's, it's, it's minus clear, it's 489 kilobytes. So if you ever need to make a video where it's just like an image and that's all, you can do that pretty easily with this. So anyway, thanks for watching my video on how to use you know FFmpeg with some basic options. I'll have all a bunch of examples in the description if you want to take a look at them. I'll just have this entire thing in the description, actually. Um, and yeah, FFmpeg is a really useful tool. I recommend if you're into video stuff, you learn how to use it. Uh, the best encoders for video are, at the moment, libx265. Uh, the best encoder for audio is AAC, because high quality. X265 is, you know, as long as you set your CRF rate appropriately, it's going to be perfectly fine in terms of quality. Might be a little slow, because processors and stuff... Um, if you need to deal with something like uh, in NVIDIA encoding, you can do, obviously, what was it called? Um, NVENC uh, underscore HEVC. That's another codec you can use. But it's, it's or actually, I think it's HEVC underscore NVENC. 
and it's it's fast but it isn't as precise because gpus aren't like perfect like processors when it comes to video and the file sizes will be larger and the, it won't be as you know good it won't be as high quality video but yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching my video goodbye